No, I'm just playing. What's up, YouTube? Doing the E3 final cap recap. I mean, E3 final thoughts. You know, just came back. Third day. And just want to talk about a few of the games that we couldn't get on camera because they wouldn't allow certain games to get on camera. Um, basically, there was hey, Fable 4, which is basically connect only. Um, kind of like the game. It was just basically about... Uh, about uh, 50 years after the first, uh, the third fable, I'm sorry. And then, um, so you're a new hero, new storyline, new environments, everything. And uh, a lot of people are curious about how do you walk around, if it's connect and all this other stuff. You actually, you're on a horse for most of the time. And then you actually have to whip the horse with your hand and it's voice recognition. So you have to talk and direct the horse if you want to go right you raise your right hand you want to go left you raise your left hand and uh how you fight enemies is basically um every living organism they tell you every living organism has a life force humans plants they all give some type of life force so your main element in the game is magic so you basically put your hand out you absorb all the life force around you which turns into little uh, blue balls like life forms and you absorb it and then you can actually uh, you see a cursor and whichever uh, shape you form like if you want to make a shield you would form like a, a certain triangle you would form it so you take you get all the life force and you take it if you want to form a sword you go like this you want to make a fireball you spin around the circle and then you shoot it at your enemies so overall and this game, they said that uh, there is no co-op. It's uh, mainly story-based. They said that um, that um, like the other three fables previously, you can't really make choices whether good or bad. It's more story involved and uh, voice recognition involved story-based. They want to get more into the story more so than you still get to make choices, but overall, you have to somewhat kind of be good so that could play either good or downfall in and fail it's connect only and another game was a uh, halo 4 which is basically um they wouldn't allow cameras in that either so basically um it's about master chief is back he never died and that um that he i guess he's trying to figure out his purpose and like what is there left to do basically he felt like he did everything he felt like there was just nothing else to do. And I guess there's some type of uh, ancient evil. They couldn't really say what it was. But there's still some ancient evil, I guess, in the universe, basically. And um, what I liked about most about this E3 was that um, they gave away a lot of free stuff. Everyone was nice. They took a lot of pictures. Everyone was real generous. Um, and uh, everything was good. There was a lot more people this time. They had raffles, um, they had a lot of few stuff, and and it was, overall it was good. The waiting time was an hour for each game, so we couldn't really, like. Two hours for Connect. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was two hours just to play the Connect. They had four, uh, Ford Mazda 4 for the Connect. They had the Gun Stringer demo for the Connect. They had Disneyland Adventures. They had Dance Central 2. Star Wars. And they had, oh yeah, and they had the Star Wars uh, exclusively for the Kinect. So, uh, pretty big titles. Child of Eden is also dropping. Uh, they had a few MMOs. Excuse me. They had a few MMOs that I actually did like. They had... Uh, that were free, too. That were free. These are free, downloadable. You don't have to pay monthly. Any of those type of MMOs. It's uh, Dragon's Nest. And they had Perfect World. Uh, Rusty Hearts. It's, uh, and they have Vindictus. And Vindictus, Vindictus is probably the closest thing you can get to WoW or Rift or anything without paying, actually. So uh, you should uh, check out those games if you uh, Perfect World or Nexon, any of those games. And uh, what other thing was there, Chris? Uh, um, the Connect Fable. Can you stand or do you have to... Oh, yeah. Um, Fable is actually... Uh, Fable and Gunstringer. I forgot. If you're looking up, Chris. Fable and Gunstringer are the first two Kinect games you could actually play standing, uh, sitting down. 
uh, Fable, you're on a horse the whole time. That's how you move. And all you have to do, he was actually doing it. You could sit down and just control the horse. And then when you fight, you can still sit down because you're just absorbing. You just use your hands the whole time. You don't use your legs or anything. Gunstringer is uh, slightly different. You uh, actually have that on E3 Day 2. And also Chris has it on his YouTube channel, Find One 1987. So you want to do that. So uh, basically you move with your left hand like this. You're controlling a puppet. And you hold your hand out like a gun, like this or like this. And then when you want to shoot, you go like this and you could also play that sitting down. You don't need no feet, no legs. So this this way you don't get as tired, but a few problems with that, the levels are so long that your arms eventually get tired. It's like what, like 10 minutes every level? So eventually, you know, um, that's pretty much it. You know, so um, they had live figures. They had, um, everyone was real courteous and nice. And um, I felt like a lot of people were just, uh, trying everything, you know, just open your eyes, try something new, you know, and then I couldn't get Battlefield 3 because the lines were too long. It was probably like a three hour wait just to see a, an extended trailer. For some reason, it was all three days, so I apologize. Me and Chris apologize. We couldn't get the footage of that. And um, other games that were closed off was uh, Ninja Slice, which is for the Kinect, and I mean, I got in the private section because I went to go use the bathroom so I saw a few of that and it's basically you're a samurai you're holding a sword it's connect only you're holding a sword you're uh, people are throwing fruits at you and you have to slice it in a specific order or something like that you slice it and then it comes up on the screen so um, and enough about Microsoft there was also a uh, Nintendo they're actually doing pretty good the 3DS they have uh, the Wii U yeah, the Wii U, Project Cafe, the Wii 2. The new Zelda. Yeah, new Zelda. And they're coming out with, they're actually doing pretty good too. They're coming out with a lot of games and a lot of original games, old school games, and refurbishing them and putting them on the 3DS. So. And they're reselling Sega and Super Nintendo. Oh, yeah, they're reselling those. So if you want to do that, they got the Dreamcast, all that. All that's going to be for sale, you know, uh, by the end of this year. So What about Sony, what, uh, what about the I, Resistance 3? I heard you almost won. Oh, yeah. Okay, so me and Chris, there was 300 people that, um, that tried out for the Resistance 3 demo. And basically in this demo, you had to get through the whole demo and you couldn't die and you had to get the least amount of time. And the top three people who, out of those 300 people, the top three people who got the least amount of time, I think the lowest was seven minutes and 30 seconds. They got through the whole demo and didn't die. Top three got a PS, uh, PlayStation 3, free. Uh, PlayStation Move, free. And five other games, which is Resistance 2, Infamous 1. No, Infamous 2. Infamous 2, Need for Speed. I mean, uh, MLB 2011. Grand Theft Auto. Grand Turismo, Grand Theft Auto. Um, they got all that. The for free and basically um, and the um the gun yeah and the gun I'm sorry and the gun you use for the uh, first person shooters the PlayStation gun I'm not sure what that's called but uh, yeah so you got that and um, basically I got in fourth place so I had all those I don't own a PS3 so I guess I felt better about myself but me and Chris you know we went on YouTube saw the people playing the demos learned where everything was where the enemy spawned. I think I got around eight minutes. We ranked in the top 15. Yeah, we now. ranked in the top 15, and the top 15 got a free game, which was those choices out of the other five games we mentioned, which was Resistance 2 and Infamous 2. They gave us that for free. The other 275 people, 85 people, didn't get anything. So Resistance shirt, that's all it. All they did was just get a free shirt. So I got in fourth place. I missed third place by two seconds. I was kind of mad for probably like an hour. <laughs> Had Chris, to redeem Chris himself. Got in, Chris got in, I think, sixth place yeah. out of 300 people. So, I mean, that resistance demo is crazy, though. So, I mean, and uh, uh, they had it to where the controls, they switched every other demo. Hmm. So, you couldn't, if a uh, circle is crouch, it would be to throw a grenade the next demo. So, they made it to where it was actually challenging. So, people didn't really know what they were doing. So, I thought that was pretty cool. And, uh, and I think that was Nike, uh, what was the store called? Nike, uh, 
Kobe Bryant owns it. It's on Figueroa, so you want to check that out. They was real cool. You know, pause. That was real cool. <laughs> and, uh, anything else, Chris, that I didn't cover? Um, no, that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. So, I mean, those are my final thoughts. You know, we'll be, me and Chris will be checking out. We'll be on, we'll be to oh, E3 2012. And um, so I cover Sony and also get a look for that God of War. Uh, the dude in my second video, day two recap, he hinted at God of War 4. And he told me not to say anything, but he can't prove that he even told me anything. I'm not going to mention his name, so... So get a look for that God of War 3. Shouts out to Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft, all the MMO RPGs, and you know, we'll keep it running. Just subscribe, like to our YouTube channels, youtube.com slash Kevin J. R. Collins, youtube.com slash find one nineteen eighty seven. Or true life. Yeah, or youtube.com slash true life. So you know, just like, subscribe, we'll be giving you more footage and Shouts out to all the subscribers never left us. You know, we was gone for a second. And, you know, uh, we just keeping it real, man. You know, E3, so keeping it real. So we'll see y'all later, all right?